It is a lightweight title fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and absolutely remarkable what he has accomplished since making his UFC debut in 2013. Still the only simultaneous two-division UFC champion the promotion has ever seen. That left hand, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you don't want to get hit with the left hand of Conor McGregor. He is precise, a creative striker who has certainly put Dublin, Ireland, and SBG, Ireland, on the MMA. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, He'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vakes. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters 29 years of age. Nurmagomedov is one inch taller. McGregor will have a four inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! It's a disappointment. Fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the challenger, the And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. 
Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Inside leg kick. Good shot. Just missed with that huge kick. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Ooh. Big left hand lands upstairs. McGregor gets hit by that leg kick. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Effective with the jab. Good defense there. Moving towards his right here. Went high, missed. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. That punch will work right through the guard. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, nice punch there by Connor. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. Hook to the head, lands flush there by McGregor. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice right punch followed by a left. Huge block there. Missed with that right hand. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Nermago Meta. Wow. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. McGregor's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Beautiful right leg kick there. Oh, overhand left. No good. Nermago Medov's kick block. McGregor gets caught by the inside leg kick. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Wow! He's blocked. Big body shot. Body. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and high Whoa! kick. He heard him. Seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. And uh, what a round! Uh, Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, okay. and it came just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool. 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. Here's a devastating kick that does some serious damage. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Three. Brittany Palmer is in the building. All right, round two. This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's what's the opponent gonna be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's gonna win. Oh! Wow! He's gotten hurt here. The champ is rocked. He's in big trouble here. We could be seeing a Whoa! Wow! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh! What a leg kick! Oh, and he goes on top of the kick. We got a fight, folks.
Just and he escapes the submission. Full side control. I mean, he's gonna do his level best, defend and be patient. Effective punch there by Nermago Medoff. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the box. And he turns it around into full guard. Back to side control. Inside control here. He's looking for the Kimura, trying to lock it up. He's got his arm pinned down. And his arm is out. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Switching stances here. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace on uptick. Oh! Wow! He's got him hurt here. Whoa, head kick. How about that chin? opponent flush full force full extension and that one was a no doubter the fight was over as soon as that foot made contact and here's the end let's take a look at it again from a different angle look at the power in this right hand as it lands picture perfect for the knockout check it out here boom So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, the UFC's undisputed lightweight champion. That's the way he came in, and that is the way he goes out. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 155-pound fighter on the planet. Gets the win by knockout here tonight, and, and maybe it was just how emphatic a finish it was that is resulting in such a big celebration in that corner. Congrats to the team and the still UFC lightweight king.